Hi tutors, it's Rachel from Academic Support Center. I'm going to take us through a brief overview of TutorTrack, our new tutor appointment software. So I've started here at the chesapeake.edu homepage, but we'll need to go to a different website to start. And that site is http colon slash slash chesapeake dot go dash redrock dot com slash and this is the login screen so everyone's login will be their first and last name all lowercase no spaces the password I'll post up on our ASC tutor blog but it's also listed on the handout from our orientation if you still have that Then you just press enter. And this is the main menu of TutorTrack. You can see here a message, Welcome to the Academic Support Center at Chesapeake College. This is the message students will see when they log in to create an appointment. As a tutor, you'll see your own upcoming appointments. And if you're also a student of Chesapeake, you'll see your upcoming appointments with other tutors in this box here. I have a canceled appointment. That was a test that I'll do again during this video. This is also a little notice special for the tutors, so it's individualized to each person who logs in. On the left and right hand columns here, you can see I've got all sorts of widgets and gadgets for reports and appointments. If you'd like to see that as well on your screen, go up to this little guy touching his head and you'll go to my preferences and there you can click or unclick uh, whichever of the options that you like to see on your own screen so during this video I'm going to look at my own schedule I'm going to look at the Y Mills Academic Support Center schedule to see everyone's availability. And I'm going to make an appointment for a fake student who's called Sam Smith. He's not real. Don't worry, Sam. So to look at my own schedule, there are a couple different options. If you have the widget, you could see click to view the schedule. But until then, if you go back to the little man, and you click on schedule it'll log your own schedule see Rachel piles here now I'm only on the schedule as a writing tutor uh, Tuesday evenings so you can see my availability is right here 4 4 30 and 5 those are the appointments that students could make with me so if I click on one of these also if I scroll through the week you can see I'm not available any other times if I click on one of these the four o'clock you can see the details for this appointment. This is a single person availability appointment, which is green. See here on green, it says one-on-one. -on -one. All writing tutor uh, appointments will be one-on-one -on -one for the max of one student. I'm available on Tuesdays. I've divided into 25 minute slots, but you see there's also um, the availability for a 50 minute slot if a student wants an hour long appointment with a break in between and I have allowed students the options to make a weekly appointment with me. We've already done this for all of the tutors, so you don't need to put in your own availability, but you should see this when you log in yourself. Now if I want to see the whole Y Mill schedule, you see here on the left we have our Cambridge Center and all the people that might be working there, Y Mills, and down here at the bottom embedded tutors. But if I click on Y Mills as a center, and I scroll through everyone, I can see everyone's availability in their different appointments. You can see the different colors on here. So this blue means drop-in. Math and science is usually going to be listed as a blue, a drop-in appointment. And so far we don't have any multi-person class or group yellow categories, but we might in the future. All the writing tutors you'll see have these green appointments for one-on-one -on -one time. And the last thing I'm going to do is make an appointment for a fake student, Sam Smith, just to show you what that looks like. So, if I go to this right-hand drop-down and click Appointments, you can search for the student by their name or their ID number. But I don't know Sam's off the top of my head like we won't for most students, so I'm going to search him by name. Smith Sam. 
There's two records found. This is our Sam Smith. He's going to be tutored at Y Mills. And uh, for the test period, I'll make him only available um, to see me. That way it doesn't confuse anyone else's schedule. So we'll say he's available 3 to 7 on Tuesdays only. So here is our Tuesday availability. And I'm going to just make an appointment uh, for myself from 4 to 4.25 on next Tuesday the 16th. The subject drop-downs haven't been populated yet, but for now we'll say the reason is he's getting some help with writing. If you're doing these entries post facto, you could list a student as having missed appointment, attended his appointment, or having canceled the appointment. And I'll just say for the notes, testing. Sometimes you might say, Sam's working on some um, English 101 assignments, and that would help you keep notes. And then you save it. And if you go back to your schedule as a tutor, and go to next Tuesday the 16th, you should see Sam Smith is going to get some help with writing. And that's the appointment there. So this is all that we know so far pretty much about TutorTrack. Once it's up and running, we'll definitely give you some individualized training uh, so that you as an embedded or as an ASC tutor know exactly how to use TutorTrack and what it's for. But any questions, feel free to give me a call, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.